I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you an excellent question on application of trigonometric functions. The question here is, what is the maximum perimeter of a right triangle with hypotenuse of 16 centimeter? Four choices are given to us. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now, since we need to find the maximum perimeter, we need to write an equation of perimeter related with the triangle with 16 as the hypotenuse, right? So, let me make one triangle here uh, with 16 hypotenuse and then we will further discuss. So, let's say that's the triangle where the hypotenuse is 16 and let these sides be x and y. Now, if the sides are x and y, the perimeter is x plus y plus 16, right? So, so from here we know perimeter will be equals to x plus y plus 16. Now, how do we relate them? One way to relate them is with the help of the angle theta itself, right? So, if I use theta for this particular triangle, and let's say we're talking about an acute triangle where theta is between 0 to 90 degrees, right? It could be obtuse, but uh, if we consider acute angle, that's sufficient to answer this question. So, we'll assume theta to be an angle which is greater than or equal to 0, but less than or equal to 90 degrees, right? Anyway, you could always write x in terms of theta, x we know cos theta, let me write down here, let's write down the relations which we know. Cos theta is will x over 16, correct? x over 16. So, x could be written as 16 cos theta, right? Similarly, y can be written as 16 sin theta, right? Since y over 16 is sin theta, correct? Okay, uh, so the relation of these trigonometric ratios, you could remember using Sokotoa, sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cos is adjacent over hypotenuse, tan is opposite over adjacent, right? So we have used this trigonometric ratio to relate, correct? Once we know x and y, we can write the perimeter in terms of x and y. So write perimeter as x is 16 cos theta, plus y is 16 sin theta plus 16. To find maximum, we need to find the first derivative, analyze it, right? So what is d, I mean, rate of change of perimeter with theta? So if we differentiate with respect to theta, we get derivative of cos theta is minus sin theta, so we get this as minus 16 sin theta, Derivative of sine theta is plus cos theta, so we get plus 16 cos theta. And we have derivative of constant is 0. Now, for critical number, derivative should be 0. So let's equate this to 0. We get 16 sine theta plus 16 cos theta equals to 0, right? This is to find the critical number, right? So for critical number. p dash equals to 0, correct? So that is it. Now we can solve for theta, correct? So let's solve for theta. Okay, let's go here. So I'll rearrange the equation. We can bring this to the left. So we have 16 sine theta equals to cos theta. I mean 16 cos theta, correct? Dividing both by 16 cos theta, dividing both sides by 16 cos theta, what do we get? 16, 16 cancels, sine over cos is tan. So we get tan theta equals to 1. Now, tan theta is 1 for 45 degrees, or you can say theta equals to tan inverse of 1, which is 45 degrees, right? For 
theta being between 0 to 90 when theta is between 0 to 90 degrees correct so that's one angle the other quadrant of course tan is positive in third quadrant so we are not considering that now how do we know that this is really a maximum so it's a critical number so we have a critical number which is theta equals to 45 degrees now we could analyze the first derivative check the rate of change on both the sides or we could also find the second derivative correct so so let's find the second derivative that is to say we know the first derivative is given there what is d2 p over d theta square second derivative we are doing from the derivative here it gives me minus sine derivative of sine theta is cos theta derivative of cos theta is minus sine theta that makes this negative we get minus 16 sine theta now as you can see here if i take minus 16 common we get sine i mean let me write cos theta first cos theta plus sine theta is it okay now for angle between 0 to 90 both of them are positive so we get a negative result so we find that the second derivative is negative so so we find that this is less than 0 means negative negative means concave down right concave down kind of like this do you see that and that means you have a maximum do you see that means a maximum is that clear so that clearly indicates that we have a maximum for theta equals to 45 degrees right? maximum perimeter perfect so we know theta is 45 degrees let's substitute the values in the formula which we have which is perimeter equals to 16 cos of 45 degrees plus 16 sine of 45 degrees plus 16 right that is cos of 45 degrees let's make 45 degrees special triangle just to help you out remember all the things 1 over square root 2 right so for 45 degrees 1 over square root 2 is the value of cos theta so we get 16 times 1 over square root 2 plus sine theta is also 1 over square root 2 plus 16 right so when you add them you get 2 times 16 over square root 2 plus 16 when you divide 2 by square root 2 what do you get you get square root right so we write this as 16 square root 2 plus 16 is it okay so we do have option b which is 16 plus this so so the option here is 16 plus 16 square root 2 and that becomes the perimeter with maximum perimeter for a fixed hypotenuse of 16 right so it's very important to understand how we derived it in general you will realize that if i replace this 16 by a constant if i replace this by uh, let's say a constant k right in that case maximum perimeter will be what will be k plus k square root 2 do you see that so that becomes the maximum perimeter for hypotenuse to be k correct so if i replace this by k the maximum perimeter will be k plus k square root 2 now that should help you many times to answer such a question in competitive examinations i'm anil kumar and i hope that helps if you like you can put some likes here feel free to share and subscribe to my videos thank you and all the best.